Are there any drummers in the house? I play percussion. Well, that's because you couldn't play anything else. Shut up. Come here, dude. Hey, man. Do you touch my drum set? No. Nope. It's just weird, because... Seems like someone definitely touched my drum set. Yeah, that is weird. It's, I didn't touch them. I am warning you right now, if you touch my drums, I will stab you in the neck with a knife. Not quite my tempo. It's all good. No worries. Here we go. Hey guys, welcome back to the Drumheads Podcast. My name is Daniel and this is episode 66. Can you believe it? 66 episodes. And by the way, this is the two-year anniversary of the podcast. Woo! Yes, I know. So in this episode, I had a uh, wonderful Skype conversation with uh, Silvio and David from Neil Drums. Now, if you guys are not familiar with Neil, Neil Drums, they are a Brazilian-based drum company, and uh, they're starting to really make a scene out there. Uh, in the you know broader musical landscape, and it was so great to have them both on because uh, Silvio was in Brazil and David was in the UK, and I was in North Carolina. So we had three people from three different continents: South America, Europe, and North America on the podcast at the same time. Don't you guys just love technology? I know I do. So it was great. To con- it was a great conversation. Uh, got a lot of insight about the, you know the Brazilian market and you know how. Uh, the whole process goes down there because, you know, you think, oh, it's going to be this kind of the same thing that goes on in the U.S. Uh, no, it's it's a lot different. So it's just interesting to find out those little things. And it was great to hear about the story of how uh, Silvio and David had met to, you know, uh, you know, start this company. And uh, yeah. And, you know, uh, Silvio was, you know, very concerned about his accent. I understood him perfectly. And uh, so um, don't worry. Don't sweat it, Silvio. I understood every word you said, so uh, everybody, everybody's gonna enjoy it. Don't worry, brother. So uh, again, thank you for them to be uh, for being on, and you know it was a special two-year anniversary podcast. Uh, we've been talking back and forth for for a while, so it was great to uh, you know finally talk to them, and just uh, you know, I mean, just two years. It's it's hard to believe two years uh, is when we start when I started this podcast, and it's grown so much. So uh, thank you to everybody who is uh, you know. Spread the word about uh, the Drumheads podcast because it means so much to me. And uh, also, if you guys are not familiar with the, ra- uh, they're, they're doing a raffle. It's not me. Uh, of late, I have had some financial uh, problems when it comes to uh, my work. I have taken some severe pay cuts, and uh, you know, I hadn't really vocalized it to anybody because you know it's my problem, it shouldn't be anybody else's. Uh, but also, our van decided to. On us, so uh, we are stuck in a very hard place right now, and we're a little financially a little bit tight. So, uh, uh, the guy at uh, Esbury Percussion, you know, reached out to me on on Instagram. He just saw I had posted I was saying I was frustrated, but you know, I wasn't. I was being kind of vague, and he's like, "What's up?" And you know, uh, I told him about what was going on, and he, uh, you know, God bless. He really liked, you know. Uh, listened and like said, "Hey, we're gonna do something for you." I'm like, uh, "You don't have to do anything for me. It's okay. We'll get through this." Uh, but he uh, he organized this whole big thing. We've got uh, it's a ten dollar raffle, so you can buy a ten dollar raffle ticket and you can uh, get a chance to win some awesome drums. We got drums from Ezra. We got drums from Predator Percussion. So Mike Martin uh, it was great. You know that he ca- you know he's been on the podcast and he wanted to help out. Then we had seventeen ten percussion. So we had Mike uh, as well, another Mike uh, from seventeen ten percussion contributing. Then you have uh, uh, Rami from ANF Percussion, or no, ANF Drum Company, sorry, uh, contributing as well, also past guest. And then we had Sol, uh, Salt Drums, which is uh, Sean. He contributed as a drum. And uh, and then also our uh, friend Emmanuel from Era Drum Clan, uh, Era Drums uh, has uh, made a special drum as well. So it's, you know, all these are past guests, and it's like, oh, it's just so great for all of them to, like, just, like, hey, you know, we're going to help you out. We're going to do a, a raffle and, you know, hope to raise some money. So, uh, you know, please go buy a ticket. Um, my wife would love you forever uh, to get the, the van fixed or to, you know, uh, at least we can uh, put a down payment on one so we don't have to, you know, have such a high price on a, you know, car because they are expensive. So, um, yes, uh, but thank you to those guys. And also, uh, you know, K-Breaks is throwing some stuff in there. And then we also got Sweet Spots Clutches that are throwing 
uh, some stuff into the giveaway as well. So uh, the way it's going to work is we're actually going to do a, li- a podcast. And it's going to be posted right when we're doing it. So uh, uh, if you enter into it, uh, just be sure to download the podcast that day. And then uh, we're going to – me and the guy from Ezra are going to be on the podcast. And, you know, we'll talk a little bit beforehand, but we'll do the giveaway through that. So it's going to be a real cool time. Thank you to all those guys. Thank you to Neil – uh, drums. Thank you to Silvio and David for being on. And uh, here it is, episode 66 with Neil Music, because that is what they're called. There we go. Got it. See you guys. All right. So, hey, guys, welcome back to the Drumheads podcast. And uh, I am joined on Skype by uh, two individuals from two different countries. We've got Europe and the UK represented by uh, David. So how are you, David? I'm very well, thank you, Daniel. Thank you very much for having us. No problem. And then from South America in Brazil, we've got Silvio, uh, and he is uh, calling. Yeah, he's uh, speaking to us from Brazil. So how are you, Silvio? Hi, Daniel. I'm fine. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Oh, my pleasure. My pleasure. And both of these uh, gentlemen. Are uh, how, are you guys? You know, I guess the the creators of uh, of Neil Drums. How would you guys describe it? Um, the creator is is uh, is definitely Silvio. Oh, I okay. am uh, I am a endorsee turned business partner. Ah, uh, okay, okay, I like that. Uh, yeah, wonderful, wonderful. Well, uh, yeah, I really uh, appreciate you guys being on because uh, this uh, will be the two year anniversary of the podcast. And uh, I think it's, you know, tremendous that, you know, you, you guys took time out, especially being in three different countries at the same time. Uh, don't you just love technology? It is wonderful. It, it does is. make life a lot easier. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. it's, uh, what time is it there for you, David? It's uh, eight, uh, 8 in the evening now. Mm-hmm. Um, the, clocks went, the clocks went back. We have a uh, daylight saving, so I, I got an extra hour in bed oh, after, after the gig last night, which is very pleasing. Oh, yes, <laughs> very lucky. And then it's it's 6 o'clock for you, uh, Silvio, right? Yes, we are in summertime in Brazil, so yeah. now it's 6, 18 in Brazil. Yeah, and you're what part of Brazil are you from, or, you know... Uh... South, south area, uh... I, I, I'm living in the Paraná state in the south area in Brazil. Okay, nice. So it, yes. the, the weather probably there stays pretty good all year round, right? Uh, uh, my city is Londrina or Little London. Uh, mm-hmm. The coincidence because I met David and uh, my city is uh, uh, during the, the year. It's the, the the weather is common to very hot. Oh, okay. Non- yes, yes. It's common that the weather is hot normally. Normally. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 hot right now. I was just talking to David uh, before we started recording that uh, both of us are wearing shorts and it's almost November. So uh, it's uh, it's been a long summer for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we never uh, have summer in the UK. Yeah. Anyway. I'm just, I'm just pleased it's warm, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, because you guys, you guys have it a little bit rougher uh, when it starts to get to, you know, winter and spring. You know, you don't, you don't get a lot of, a uh, lot of nice weather like you do in Brazil. So we don't, we don't get a lot of nice weather anytime. It's, yeah, it's, it's a change every day. So uh... <laughs> that's cool. All right. Well, uh, I guess where I want to start uh, is we'll start with you, Silvio. So uh, just tell us a bit, a little about your drumming background. Sorry, Daniel. The connection cut. Oh, could Daniel. you repeat the answer, yeah. please? Uh, could you just the tell question? Me, yeah. Could you uh, just tell everybody about your uh, drumming background? Uh, my. Uh, you are talk. You are asking me about my my history in the drummer yeah. area. Yeah. I, I cannot what? understand. Yes. Yeah. yeah what? Okay. Uh, I I worked with musical instruments for twenty seven years. Okay. Mm-hmm. Because I started my 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 business uh, with musical industry in a music store of my, of my, my, my father. Mm-hmm. But with drums, I started my, my business in 2004. I created uh, two brands before Nail Drums. Uh, because my, my, my relationship with in musical 
just to, in China and around the world, I, I uh, all the time I work with Chinese people and Chinese drum factory people. This is helped me to uh, start my own business with Nell. Mm -hmm. So my my idea to create my own brand is because I I, I need to be uh, to be honest. I I uh, it's time to start my own business because. All my project was in my pocket to wait in my opportunity. And I think this is the great time to start with my own business. It's not easy in Brazil, mm -hmm. okay? To open a company, to create market, it's not easy. But I I feel that this is my time. So after to meet David in England, I win more, how can I say, my power to, to, to continue my project. So... Mm -hmm. My history in the musical uh, industry is since 27 years ago. I think I am experienced enough to have my own business now. Nice, well, wonderful. That's uh, 27 years. It, it's it's uh, that's quite a, an achievement these days. You know, in the musical world, you know, some people can only make it. You know, 10 years, five years, but for 27 years, that's a that's quite an achievement. So. Uh, but yeah, and, and to you, David, uh, so what, when did you start playing drums? Um, <clears throat> I've been playing drums since I was four. Um, I'm 33 now. Mm -hmm. um, so I've been playing drums all my life. Uh, I've been lucky enough to play um, lots and lots of different styles. I was classically trained as a drummer, uh, learned to play orchestral music, timps, glockenspiel, mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, progressed on to other instruments. I play bass guitar and piano uh, badly, but <laughs> I play them. Um, and uh, I um, then sort of uh, progressed into sort of the rock bands, the cover scene, um, mm -hmm. and then uh, had a project called The Delainers, which was early 2000s, uh, which um, had some success. Um, <clears throat> and uh, in 2014, I won an award for one of the best blues drummers in, in, in the country at the time, a writer's, global writer's poll. Oh, nice. Uh, with the band that I was working with. So I've been in and, in and out of music my whole entire life. Um, uh, I met Silvio uh, about this time last year, actually. Oh, um, okay. uh, strangely enough, the same way yeah. as I met you via Instagram. So Yeah. Uh, uh, it's a wonderful tool, um, and it's changing things and um, like opening up paths and, and and allowing other people to communicate and and you know bringing people together musically, which is great. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Uh, so so you just met Silvio through Instagram. Uh, just how how did that come about? Okay, so um, last year I was. Um, quite unwell at the end of last year and I had some time off work and um, I just uh, had quite a serious fan accident and um, I started using Instagram basically to find some more drumming work and um, which worked which was great mm -hmm. and uh, um, I found came across one of the uh, Nell hybrid 14 by 8 snare drum posts in one of the random hashtag drum posts I was trawling at the time mm -hmm. and um, and I emailed him and said, look, you know, I love the sound of this snare drum. Is there anywhere in the UK that I can can get one? Um, and things progressed from there. He did his research on me. I did his, my research on him. And in July this year, we, we went into partnership. So nice. it's, it's, it's been a bit of a fairy tale, mm -hmm. um, but a good one. Mm -hmm. um, we, you know, we're very different people. Um, myself and Silvio, but we are both quite at peace with wanting to make drum kits and wanting to maybe change the musical landscape a little bit. I'm hoping, you know, um, what I'd like to do with the, the, the company eventually um, is, you know, support our artists mm -hmm. um, as, you know, as endorsees, but also as well be able to support the artists to allow the artists to every country that we're distributing in be able to take their bands there and do you know performances and tours mm -hmm. and, and 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 really have a, a a company that's 
really built around its artists, which is what now is all about, really. Nice. Well, uh, <laughs> it yeah, it, it's such a, you know, when I look at, you know, the relationship you do have with your artists, especially, you know, on Instagram and social media, you're very connected to them. You know, you don't, uh, you know, there's a lot of other, you know, drum companies, and we won't name names, but, you know, it's a very distant relationship you know it's like yeah they use our drums and we'll say they do but that's about it there's no collaboration between who makes the drums and who plays them and i think yeah. that's i think that's important yeah i mean that was um i mean i've been lucky I, i've played on lots of records i'm lucky enough to own um i think it's nine drum kits now which is excessive um, <laughs> that's all right each, but um, I've got, you know, I've got a Lovey, I've got a Gretsch, I've got a DW, mm. and I, the, the, the nail kit um, that I currently have, which is the prototype Birch series mm -hmm. that uh, we've developed, is probably the most versatile drum kit I've ever owned, in that um, it works great live it's great in the recording studio. It's great for live recordings. It's got loads of tone. It's not too loud. Mm -hmm. Plenty of cut. Dynamically great. Um, you know, and when when I had the opportunity, and Silvio said to me, "Look, we'd we'd, we'd be interested in, in in endorsing you because you're an artist that's out there playing, and we you know, we're about supporting our artists." Mm -hmm. Um, it was fabulous for me. It was, you know, um, lifelong dream come true. Yeah, yeah. And, and then things progressed. Um, you know, as we got talking, I helped a bit more with social media and, and various other things. And um, we both felt that the strength of the character and, and what we're actually trying to achieve with the company would be, you know, beneficial for both of us to work together because we have other things in the pipeline as well so nice. it's not just drums mm -hmm. um, so yeah it's a good it's we're in, we're in a good place yeah now. it's a you know it's an exciting and it's exciting company to be working with to be honest um, and I, I, I'm, I'm lucky enough to be going out to the HQ in Brazil next month which I'm looking forward to massively which will be the first time myself and Silvio have met in person oh wow be, yeah. Yeah, um, very nice for both of us after a year of Skype chats and mm -hmm. telephone calls and emails and WhatsApps and et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, Silvio, uh, tell me about, you know, the process of how you how you guys make your drums. Sorry about. Uh... Uh, just how, how you, uh, you know, uh, how you make your shells and hardware. Uh, how, how do you how do you come up with the ideas to do that? Or, you know. uh, okay. Uh, well, no, I don't play drums. Uh -huh, right? Okay. Uh, yes, I don't play drums. Uh, I, I, I think I just know uh -huh. to make uh, four by four rhythm in very slowly. Okay. Okay. It's not easy for me. <laughs> but uh, to, to to my project to start with with nail products, I I always need uh, a drummer but with with my intention to to make now a global brand mm -hmm. and when i met david in a center of music in the world and david gave me the feedback about the his intention to be in the concert, i could put in the production uh with my factory in china mm -hmm. uh the most the most uh, complete project with hardware and shells. Our shell, I, I changed the, the factory gave me the opportunity to change all shell department. I told about that with Dave. Dave, the factories change all shell department to prepare our our introducing the global market. So I have this uh, open door in the factory to change everything. Mm -hmm. So I start with the shell construction different. Uh, David can tell you more about the quality of the sound as uh, he told you. Mm -hmm. And now we are changing the, the, the machines 
the the people are will having the new trainee and me and David wants to go to the factory, stay there for three or four months to make more training with the, the workers to prepare the better shells. About the hardware, hardware is not difficult for the Chinese guy, you know that, because the harder you just need to have a good raw material, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. And, and have a good project between price and models, because it's easy to prepare uh, uh, great hardwares, fantastic hardwares, but don't have good price. I cannot to compete with big brands, Daniel. You know that. Yeah. Because my brand, the, 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 the world that doesn't know about my brand, I, I need to have a good project with honest price, that price to uh, invite the people to buy. And David gave me the feedback about the hardware that I, I, I was very, very happy because our hardware is very good. So my intention is to create a good project Good, pro, uh, good drum kit with honest price, and I think I I can I I this, this in this moment I have this I have this. Mm -hmm. Okay, well I, yeah, because I've gone to the website and I've looked around, and you know, uh, it, it, there there's uh, definitely a need in the market uh, because right now you've got two options. You've got you know like the big companies and you know uh then you've got the more custom guys who are you know making these custom sets you know based on what the drummer likes where you guys are kind of in the middle where you can reach to both audiences which i think is a is a wonderful thing you know to do from a business standpoint is to be able to reach to you know the custom guys and then, then the people who just want to you know for a standard drum kit the the whole thing with what we're trying to do is <clears throat> we're trying to essentially daniel create a company that its essence is is with its artists mm -hmm. in that you know we're not really so interested interested is the wrong word because if somebody came to me and said look um you know uh, some of the big drummers in, in, in the UK, if some of them came to me and said, look, we're really interested in playing now, yes, we'd take them on. But what the company wants to be about is a company that's there for every single musician, like yourself, mm -hmm. like Zoe, you know, and and be a, a, a supporting company that's at peace with itself, that doesn't want to make huge amounts of profit, but wants to be able to make everything accessible to everybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I... I the pure birch kit that I currently have, I've recently picked up another three endorses, one of whom I can't discuss yet because I want him to actually put pen on paper. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But um, and, and they're they're so impressed with you know the price that we're going to be selling that package, which comes with hardware and everything with. But more importantly, they're so impressed with the sounds of the things. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> for the price. Um, I don't think there's anything, every drum kit sounds different. You know, I, I've got a, a Gretsch kit that I tried three of exactly the same models, the same sizes and settled on that, that mm -hmm. third one, um, just because of the tone. But the tone that I've had off of my nail drums, um, and the people that I work with, uh, the, one of the guys that I actually live with, you know, the, the, they're saying that it's some of the best sounding drums they've ever heard and, and um, a friend of mine that I, I live with has toured with some very big artists and mm -hmm. he's you know very very happy with them so yeah well it's, it's I think it the, I think the essence is of you know Silvio and I <clears throat> are very lucky in that we both come from exactly the same standpoint but from very different angles mm -hmm. me as a drummer mm -hmm. him as um a man that's had experience in the music industry um, with regards to bringing brands to the global market. He knows how to do it. He's done it, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. um, and we're hoping that what we're going to be able to do is eventually build a company that's there to support their artists right down to silly things like having photos taken and stuff like that. Because oh, okay. having, having been in, in, in a band and worked as a musician for a number of years, I don't think people realize quite how much is involved in 
trying to produce your own music and oh yeah you know and and if we uh, you know we want to build a company that's there for everybody right down to that that kind of real gutsy being able to support them give mm. them advice mm. i think yeah. that's really yeah. important and build a community of people like yourself that are there to support musicians and that's what nails now drums particularly is all about so well that's that's wonderful i mean it, it's refreshing you know to hear that uh that people want to have that connection with their their artist and their you know and then the drummers who just use their drums who may not be famous who may just be someone who just you know plays in a garage or plays you know in the pub or whatever uh but, yeah. you know because uh growing up i was always a tama drama fan and i could you know i can't get on the phone with you know the whoever from tama and talk drums you know uh it's you know i'd probably have a better chance getting hold of the president you know it's uh unless you know people on the inside it's going to be very hard but you know you guys are very accessible uh through social media and you know just being open i think that's the important thing it's just being open to your audience you know we're not going to be yeah. able to endorse everybody mm -hmm. you know that's 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 not going to be something that's completely possible but you know, to be able to sell a beginner's kit to a beginner and say, look, here's an email address, mm -hmm. send us your Instagram details, send us this, and we'll automatically put you on for a review in two years' time to see how you're going. Maybe we can do something for you then, will it be, whether it be drum heads or cymbals or something. Mm -hmm. But to have that intimate connection and being able to be there for every single drummer Mm -hmm. The one thing Silvio said to me when I first um, came on board, every drummer is important. Every drummer has dreams. Mm. Mm, that's good. <laughs> Silvio, that's, you, should be, you should write yeah. that down in a book. This, <laughs> in, in fact, this is, uh, for, for this reason, I create Nail Drums, Daniel, because mm -hmm. I believe. The, our slogan is, is, is real. I believe in your talent is... Uh, in Brazil, I I, 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 I like to talk uh, drummers by drummer that ask me a, uh, a drum, for, for example, like to be endorser, for example. Mm -hmm. The answer is it's all the time I answer them with my, my personal email because I think this is important for a drummer that is in a, it's a intermediate mm -hmm. category or this is a beginner. But I, I want to give them my personal answer. Hey, I cannot give you a drum now, but let's make contact in the future because my, my intention is to give you a drum because I believe in your talent. It, and this is real. This is not just marketing. Mm -hmm. And the drummers in Brazil or around the world know about that. Mm -hmm. they, they, they know because this is, this, is a, this is the context of the company. Mm -hmm. do, do you understand me? Uh, I create nail drums to give them, to give the drummers a dream. I can make a contract. This mm -hmm. is important for them. And now it's a company to give them a dream. For nice. this reason, I create the, 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 the brand. Do you understand me? Yeah, well, that, yeah, that's wonderful. And, you know, especially, you know, uh, you know that you want to help people reach that, that dream, you know, because, you know, every drummer or a musician has that dream of, of finding success, whatever that may be. It may be, you know, uh, just playing, uh, you know, in your hometown or being, you know, on world tour with some famous artist. But, you know, yeah. everyone yeah. has that little dream in their, their heart to do something big, you know, so that's wonderful. Yeah, yeah because sometimes the guys uh, write me an email and talk, talk me about, hey, my dream is to sign a, sign a contract, please. Give me this opportunity. So <laughs> yeah. uh, I would like to, to, to do this with all tremors mm -hmm. that write me, but it's not possible. But the guys that I make contract, David knows about that. Uh, the guys that I make contracts, not they, everyone is not famous, Daniel. Mm -hmm. I think you know that. Mm -hmm. I think David is more my more famous artist that I have, Dave, because 
He is in London. He's played all the time with famous guys. Mm -hmm. But in Brazil, I don't have any famous drummer. And the sales are growing up all the time because these guys uh, go to the music store every day, talk a lot about the drums. Mm -hmm. They love to be in this, in, in, this, uh, in this place. Do you understand? Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, certainly. Yeah, and, uh, you know, the pictures that you guys put up on Instagram were... You know, it's a music yeah. store full of, uh, you know, nail drums. You know, that's such a, you know, uh, it's, a gr it's a great site because it, it shows that you are, you know, influencing the market. Yeah. Yeah, they, I, I think, uh, let, let me talk a little bit about the Brazilian market and, and these guys, the, the work of these guys in Brazil. Okay. Uh, of course, we have just one year with drums in the warehouse. Mm -hmm. This is very, very short time to introduce a new brand in the market. But with, uh, with my experience in Brazilian market, I, I got uh, good numbers for this, the, first, the, the first year in mm -hmm. Brazil. Uh, but these drummers helped me a lot with, how can I say, with the... Uh, Excitement, or how can I say that? Uh, sorry, Enthusi I don't know how can I enthusiasm. I with the enthusiasm, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Enthusiasm every day because uh, when when they go to the music store, they can talk with the the salesman in the music stores and talk about the quality and with the report by from David, for example, about the quality of sound. Mm -hmm. uh, the drummers in Brazil talk me about the quality of sound every day. So this is changing the, the market because uh, they are changing the big brands with mm -hmm. higher price for the nail, with honest price, and bait, but they are looking for the future, for what the brands can do for the market. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. I think this is important. I have a big line of drummers waiting a kit. <laughs> I, I, my dream is to give them one kit in the near future. Oh, okay, nice. That's wonderful. Well, and uh, I kind of wanted to talk about, you know, uh, the drum heads that you guys put on the drums. Uh, they're from England, if I'm not mistaken, right, David? Well, they are um, my design. Um, they are made in our factory in China. Oh, okay, um, okay. But um, they're my design, and I wanted to um, basically, <clears throat> again, offer an, uh, uh, an honest, priced, well-designed drum head mm -hmm, mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. everybody. Now, uh, you know, again, yeah. Yeah. we're yeah. not going to be able to compete with every single brand that's out there. You know, they have years and years and years of history. Um, but I have years and years and years of playing their drum heads mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I wanted to find a cheaper alternative. I mean, if you're somebody like me and I do a variety of gigs, I do function work, I do, you know, rock, pubs, mm -hmm. clubs, mm -hmm. venues, festivals, um, drum heads are expensive. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you really want, uh, I mean, I've done four or five, I think probably six recordings at three or four days in the last four months. Mm -hmm. and, and I like fresh heads every time I go in and record. Mm -hmm. um, and that can get really quite expensive. Yeah. And again, if you're um, new and you're damaging your drum heads, they're expensive. And I want, you know, we wanted to build a quality drum head and again, price it at an honest price, mm -hmm. take away you know, a lot of the fancy packaging and all the rest of it, you know, keep it nice and simple mm -hmm. and, and produce a good drum head. And, and, and I'm really pleased with what we've done with the coated heads. There are other things happening, but that needs to be and uh, has to wait until the new year until things have uh, uh, changed in the factory when I can go over to mm -hmm. uh, sort out a few snare heads. But we're getting there. It's, yeah. you know... Uh, William's drum heads, um, which is a tribute to my grandfather who um, passed away this year. Oh, um, I hear that. 
Um, uh, is you know, it's very very new. It was you know born in June mm-hmm. this year. Mm-hmm. So, um, it but again, honest good product mm-hmm. at mm-hmm. an honest price. Yeah, um, that's accessible to everybody, which is you know right back into where we are with everything. Everybody's important. Everything's important. We're not trying to change the world. We're trying to live in it, and we're trying to give you know, musicians, another option mm-hmm. to make it cheaper, to make it easier to be a musician. Yeah. Because it's, you know, it is expensive. It is. It is a very expensive ho- hobby for sure. Yeah. Well, and, and when I saw that you, you know, you guys were, you know, doing the Williams heads, uh, I'm like, oh, that's a, it's about time we've got another, you know, w- there's three companies you can really choose from, maybe four, but, you know, uh, You've got a ton of companies you can pick sticks from. You've got a ton of companies for everything. But drum heads have been very, you know, you you had to play the the four brands or three brands, and that that was your only choice. Yeah, and that that was partly my reason behind it, um, and also again to be able to go to a drummer and say, "Here you go, here's your drum heads, and and here's your drum kit." Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. Come back to me when you need some new heads. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. So, uh, oh, go ahead. It's not going to stop there. It's going to get bigger. Mm-hmm. As the company grows, it will extend into sticks and cymbals and hopefully proper cases eventually. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, that's my dream. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, all within reality. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, it's always, it's always good to aim big, you know, and aim high. Uh, then you know just to kind of like ah well i can't do this or we won't be able to figure this out we'll just forget about it you know we're gonna you have the attitude of let's do this and we will figure it out which is always great and uh so silvio i just wanted to uh you know we had we were talking before we uh started recording about how the name uh nail came about so if you if you you know could tell us about your how that came about i think it's a, a great story oh uh thank you very much for for that because uh now is uh how can i say about the about that i am very very happy with the, the first two years of now uh-huh. uh to bring to bring david for the company was a very very fantastic uh strategy mm-hmm. and now we are we are planning to go to another country. So we're starting with Europe and UK, of course. Mm-hmm. But it's important to talk to you about our next step is because our, our now is uh, how can I say in Brazil? Mm-hmm. They all have a good distributor, okay, okay, and they I they are doing a great job with my, with, with the brand. Mm-hmm. But now we we have in the, the challenge. Is the next step is to go with now around the world. This is not easy because we need a lot of money, and now we are preparing a big project to introduce now in another countries. We are talking with big investors for that mm-hmm. to put now in China, to put now in UK, to put now in US mm-hmm. in another. Countries. But David, David, teach me in the past about an important thing. We cannot to lose the contest of the brand, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The familiar, the familiar contest of the brand. Because if I have an investor, maybe they can put some rules, uh, financial rules in the company. This is not good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So uh, I, 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 I give in step by step now because, of course, I'd like to sell a lot, lots of containers around the world, but mm-hmm. I prefer. To, to have the, the brand and his contacts in each country with not so big money because I have a mission. David knows about that. Mm-hmm. I have a mission with the company, Daniel, not, not to be a rich guy, not to be a rich man, mm-hmm. but to have a, a drummers happy with the brand and my family honor it with the brand and make drummers uh, the dreams come true with these guys. This is my, 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 my projects around the world. But I need to go step by step. Mm-hmm. Uh, but now, this time, the 
friend is is talking about some investor to put the goods in our, uh, uh, other countries, mainly UK, US, and China is our three focus now. Oh, okay, uh, yeah, and, the, and those are good, you know, big markets. How, how and you know, uh, I'm not too familiar with the Brazilian market and how uh, uh, how is it down there? You know, because it's a large country. Uh, does now have a big presence in you know Brazil already, or is it is it starting to uh, to get bigger? Uh, the Brazil Brazil is now is the number eleven in the musical industry around the world. Right. Oh, okay. Wow. Yes, we grow, grow, we 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 down forty percent in the last year mm -hmm. in the market because the financial crisis in Brazil is very high. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, so we, we 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 lost forty forty three percent of the market in uh, in the last year, but now have uh, in the the, the in the first year four point five percent of the market. It's not so bad for me. Oh. Okay, mm -hmm. for. 4.5% of the market. Mm -hmm. uh, this is good for me. This is a surprise. Brazil is very, very big country, but it's not... We, we, for example, in the north area, it's very poor area, okay? Mm -hmm. We don't sell good numbers there. But here, in the southwest area, it's a very rich uh, population. It's, mm -hmm. I think... But we have 19... Uh, Sales office around the country, okay. Oh, okay. And the distributor in Brazil, nineteen sales office, and and they are doing a great job mm -hmm. introducing the brand step by step. We have a lot of competitors here, as you know. Mm -hmm. And the first, the, the first strategy in Brazil is change the image of the of Nell. Hey, we are not a brand like another others brands in Brazil, okay? Mm -hmm. But now it's a brand. It's a real brand of drums. Mm -hmm. uh, and I can, I, I, I'm sure that we are doing that with excellence. I, I am sure that. Yeah. Well, and, you know, the name Nell uh, is, uh, is, is in your last name. So you have, you know, a very, uh, you have, uh, you know, a lot of stake in that name because it is part of your last name. So you don't want to put anything out there that you wouldn't want your name on, essentially. <laughs> uh, yes, because when I gave this, when I had this idea, Daniel, in mm -hmm. October of 2014, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, look, look, this is coincidence because I created the, the company in October 30th. Really? Yes, the, yes exactly two years ago. Oh, that's that's yes. that's amazing. <laughs> that this was is good. Amazing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> This is amazing. Yeah, and then, when when I start the company in the end of October in 2014, I I would like to like I like to give to my father uh -huh. uh, a boot that all things that he gave me in the musical industry because I can I travel to a lot of countries working with musical industry, uh, working for another companies, another brands. I work with distribution in Brazil with a lot of big brands. Uh -huh. So I, I would like to back to my father this tribute because I learn with him a lot of things. Mm -hmm. But now, now it's, uh, it's uh, I, I, all my family works with... Uh, Musical in, uh, musical instruments. I have a, a, um, a three three brothers and sister working with inst musical instruments, and I have an uncle that is owner of the most important company of accessories in Brazil. Oh wow! Uh, my family is very famous in Brazil. Tonelli, it's a famous name in Brazil. Really? I think this is. This is helping me to introduce the brand mm -hmm. in Brazil. Mm -hmm. I think now, after now, will be very uh, easy the the sales in Brazil because now the music stores, the manager, the drummers knows that we are a serious company and I have a serious name. Mm -hmm. And I'm not joking. I'm, I'm, I I am doing our serious work with this 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 brand. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. And, and I, this is not an adventure. 
This is not adventure. This is a real and serious work. Mm -hmm. This is important. And I think the market after now no, knows about that. That's, okay, that's good. And and because your last name is Tonelli, is that a uh, is that Italian? What is that? Sorry, it, well, Italian. I, yes. Oh, it yes. is. Okay, I thought you okay. do I? Yes, Italian name. It's uh, my grandfather. It's uh, my grandfather is uh, was an uh, Italian guy that uh -huh. he's born in the uh, in the in, in the ship come to Brazil after the war. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. And, yeah. <clears throat> and he created the family here, and she. Uh, he is. Uh, he's an Italian guy. Yes. My okay. name is from Italy. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm. I'm Italian as well. Uh, my grandfather. Uh, our great grandparents were from from Sicily. So I. Uh, I thought it was an Italian name. Yeah. 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 Well, that's awesome. Well. Uh, uh, so. Uh, so, David. Uh, well, uh, when it comes to you know playing nail drums, uh, what was so you said the snare drum was the first thing you really like caught your attention was the snare drum. Yeah, it was um, uh, the fourteen by eight Felici uh, hybrid Birch mm -hmm. snare drum um, mm -hmm. that Rafa plays, and uh, it was in Masala Red, and I looked at it and it caught my eye, and I just thought that's a really a good looking drum, you know that's. Um, you know, I, what is this brand? And uh, there it was. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then we sort of progressed on to looking at some of the other kits. I looked at the TC, um, the triple class series kits, and thinking, you yeah, know, that sounds really, really good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and then obviously, when we got talking about what it was made of and price, and um, with Silvio, I was like, wow, you know, there's nothing. I don't think there's anything that sounds that good at that price mm -hmm. in the market anywhere. Mm -hmm. Not that I've found anyway. Yeah. And, and, and believe me, any opportunity I get to get in a drum shop or get near a drum kit, I will happily take it. Um, <laughs> despite yeah. the language barrier, myself and Silvio have had hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of talk <laughs> about drums. Um, yeah which is very pleasing to be honest. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, for sure. I, uh, I, I don't get a lot of, uh, you know, uh, I don't come from a musical family, so I don't get a lot of time to talk to drummers or musicians. So it's, uh, it's always a great, it's always great to just sit down and just, you know, just talk shop and, you know, get those drum things out of your head so you don't go crazy. Well, you can't talk about it with guitarists. No, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's great. Well, um, uh, I guess we'll wrap it up here in a second. But uh, so you said that you, you know, you guys are looking into, you know, like the symbol market and stuff like that. Uh, you know, what, what are you wanting to kind of have the same format with the symbols as you do as your drums? You've got like a, a beginner level, an intermediate level, and then I guess you could say an expert or professional level. That's exactly what we're trying to do. Okay, cool. And uh, yeah. What's what's the sound that you guys kind of like for cymbals? Uh... Uh, see again, I I I I I I'm I'm not one of these people that's ever been um, by. Uh, I'm always been by a sound, not a badge. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. The cymbals are um, you know a few months off yet. Um, yeah. Where I'm gonna. At work with uh, Silvio when I get to Brazil on on the cymbals, mm -hmm. um, but I play a combination. Yeah. And most most of <laughs> most of my current live cymbals are K's. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, and I have a selection of K hybrids, uh, mm -hmm. K custom hybrids, and fast crashes, and and but I've also got a full set of Sabians mm -hmm. as well, and I've got a set of U Fips. U Fip cymbals are probably my most um, favorite symbols they never actually leave my house oh okay uh, yeah yeah um so th there may be some stuff cropping up that's similar to the the natural series mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. you create i have a, a, a i really do like that sound so there'll be some of that and there'll be some effect symbols eventually mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, but again it's gonna be a, a range of stuff to fit everybody's ear you know I, I i i really do believe in the whole 
buy a sound, not a badge type. Yeah, for sure. Set yeah. up. Um, you know, I've got. I'm I'm lucky enough that I've I've earned some money over the years, and I'm lucky enough to have like twenty twenty five different snare drums. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. and they're all different, and yeah. you know, um, it's good, <laughs> and I, I you know, so who knows? It's an it's a journey. It's a you know, it's something that's going to develop over time, and that's the again the importance of having different endorses with your company that are yeah. close to your your directors mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, um, they, no. so they actually get involved you know um i'm i'm really looking forward to working with the chap out in cyprus oh okay um, yeah. you've taken on uh, you know he's 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 we've endorsed him with one of the hybrid kits mm -hmm. but you know with what he's got going on over over there and what he's doing and you know in a couple of years time you know we'll probably have uh, Mr. Stick get involved and, and work on a whole new line with us, you know, and that's that's important. Oh, you know, okay. That's, I, I was wondering what that connection was to, uh, um, I'm blanking on the name, uh, I, I I know his Twitter handle is, is it Stellos uh, yeah. Sticks 84 is that the guy you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's, a, he's, a good, he's a good guy. Yeah, again, yeah. great character. Uh -huh. Nice. Yeah. You know, he's there to encourage. He encourages people, and that's what we want to build. We want to build a company and 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 people that want to encourage everybody. Music is understood by everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. on one format yeah. or another. Mm -hmm. you know, we're just lucky that both myself and Silvio have a passion for drums, so that's the avenue that we've taken. Yeah. You know, and and like yes, it's important. Daniel, to, to, to talk because for us, the most important thing when we contract an endorser like Stelios or like Gabriela in US, for example, or another, or drummers in Brazil, one thing is more important the technique and the, 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 the quality of the musician. Okay, mm -hmm. I would like to know uh, the mission of the, the drum what you can do for your community, what you can do for the musician, where, for, for the music industry, what we can do for your church or your band or for your drum. Mm -hmm. The character is very important for me, more than the, than, than the technique of the drummer, you know? Yes, uh, yes. And Stelio is a good guy, and Gabriela is very, very good mission in the U.S., mm -hmm. making tour for a lot of church around the, the United States, Mm -hmm. And we have uh, another guys in Brazil that may sometimes uh, you if you look with attention uh, uh, the drummer is not a good drummer but he's a good person mm -hmm. good character good family mm -hmm. this is important for me do you understand oh yeah for this sure. is important for me and yeah. talking about Stelios Stelios receive uh, Neo Felice Hybrid Bird Series. Uh, let me talk a little bit about Felice Sirius. Felice is it, grand, my grandfather's name, mm -hmm. Felice, okay? Uh -huh. It's our intermediate, it's a middle range category of drums, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, we have triple C class, it's our entry level model, mm -hmm. and we have now Pure, Birch and the future Pure, uh, Pure Maple Sirius, David Play plays with uh, one kit of that. Yeah. Uh, look, we, this important thing is not we we, we cannot uh, uh, different category of drummers. Mm -hmm. Maybe sometimes I can give an entry level for a big drummer and I can give a pure series for a, a beginner because this is not important to me. Important mm -hmm. to me is uh, is a bring the dream is come true for these guys. Understand? So now we will introduce Neo Pure in the next, and uh, I think this will be a very success because we have a good price, and I will use the experience of David in Brazil. For this reason, David come to Brazil next month mm -hmm. to talk with the guys, to talk with the some music stores manager, talk with the drummers about the Neo Pure and the quality of that. Mm -hmm. they, mm -hmm. David have a lot of uh, a lot. Important words for for the brand, the quality of 
part of sound like he told uh, of us today. And I am very, very excited with Neo Pure and, uh, uh, and other countries. But the important thing, we, we don't uh, contract drummers for the quality of his technique, but uh, about the character and the mission. Mm -hmm. Do you understand me? Yeah. You, you, yeah and th and that's, that's great because, you know, uh, you want... You want somebody who has heart and somebody who is is going to be a, a force for good, you know, within their community. And, you know, they're going to represent, yeah. you know, your drums and, you know, uh, uh, and, and anything else they represent. You want, you know, to make sure they have the right heart behind it. And that's uh, that's always important, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's it. And, uh, for example, when we when we make contact, when, when, when David makes contact with De uh, Gabriella in the United States, mm -hmm. It's really told me Silvio Gabriela have a big mission in the country. It's important to have a brand with, with her. So this thing is important for us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For sure. Well, that's good. I, uh, I, uh, you know, uh, I, I look forward to seeing you know all the stuff you guys are going to be rolling out. You know, over the next months and years, and you know, uh, and you know, you know, wish you you know uh, big success. You know, when it comes to you know, reaching the audience that you, you know, you want to reach. Thank you. No, no problem. So, Thank you very much. No problem. So, uh, for, uh, before we, uh, before we, uh, get off, uh, is there anything, uh, you know, I always ask this question, what, what do you guys like to do besides music? I always, always like to know what, what other drummers or other musicians like to do outside, you know, the music world, you know, are you in the movies or cooking? Okay. So I, um, I uh, um, I kind of do lots of stuff really. Um, I like to make videos, um, record sounds. Uh -huh. um, um, I have my own sort of project studio at home. I'm in the process of actually building somewhere at the minute. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and I make videos for people and I go to jam nights and I spend time with music, but I do cook a lot. I've just actually this evening, it was the reason I was a little bit late. I was in the process of preparing some sauce for the week's meals. Oh, okay. Um, um, and it was, um, yeah, uh, so I was a little bit late getting to you. No, that's um, fine. You're fine. But I am, um, um, I do have, uh, uh, a couple of dogs, so they get a lot of attention. Oh, okay. Um, they're, they're kind of my children, really. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Yeah. What, um, what about you? What about you, Sylvia? What are What are your hobbies besides uh, music and in the drum world? Um, my hobby. Uh, I I love to play football. But okay. Mm -hmm. With 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 forty nine, I cannot have good conditions, but I would like to to spend some time with that mm -hmm. and. I love to go to my church and stay there for a long time mm -hmm. because I'm a Christian and I love Jesus. And my hobby is to see some good movies with my wife. This is good for me. I am a simple guy and I don't have a good, a big existence in my life. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm a simple guy. Okay. But I, but I don't like, uh, I, I, I don't like to, for example, to how can I say my hobby in the out of the to think about drums mm -hmm. when my free time <laughs> I hear you I, it's difficult because yeah, yeah. all my life I, I, I talk about drums I talk about the musical industry mm -hmm. and I love that but and I that, think to play perfect. some football or to write some to what some to watch football in the TV, it's my preferred Robbie. Oh, okay. That's okay. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, it. you know, uh, I've talked to, you know, many drummers, and some like to, you know, just talk about drums, and that's their hobby and their profession. And some people, you know, uh, have, you know, they're a drummer, but they also love movies or cooking or, you know, taking walks. So it's, uh, it's just, it's something for me. I just like to, uh, yeah. you know, to see what other drummers do and, you know, it's just, uh, it's just, it, I just find it fascinating more than anything. Well, I love cook. Do what? I love go to the kitchen and send me 
Yes, yes. I uh, this is, uh, but I am not a good cooking, so I have to. I prefer to buy in the restaurants. It's better for my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Oh, it's it's. Uh, there's nothing like going out and you know getting it, but you know uh, uh, it is. It's, it gets expensive after a while too. I, I try to do something to David when he come back. To, he come to Londrina. I, I try to do something for you, David. Mm -hmm. Prepare yourself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear you yeah, guys. I, I, I think. I, yeah, I think we got Silvio got lost somewhere. Did he uh, come back? I don't know. <laughs> I'm curious what the story is. He left a good cliffhanger. Okay. Yeah, but uh, we'll we'll uh, we'll keep talking till he uh, till he gets back on if he uh, if it gets if the internet gets back working. But uh, yeah, um, uh, now I'm kind of lost. <laughs> uh, well, that's what that's what this podcast happens sometimes. Uh, is it, that's, that's it, good. It, it just, lost is good. <laughs> are, you, are you there, Silvio? It sounds like it. I'm not sure. Yes, I'm here. Okay, we, we lost you there for a second. Just one minute, please. I'm talking. Yeah. Okay. I'm here. Sorry, okay. please. Okay, yeah, we, we, we lost you for a second. You were about to tell uh, David a story, and then uh, we lost you. Okay. All right. Um, oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. We've, it's all gone, whatever it was. <laughs> <laughs> Um, pick up at yeah. least <laughs> yeah maybe maybe we'll do that as a part two <laughs> maybe it'd be good to have a part two it'd be yeah. nice to do a part two yeah oh yeah and, and we need to talk anyway yeah. we, we have another yeah. conversation to have yep uh -huh. okay well uh <laughs> but uh, uh I'll, we'll just end it right here but uh yeah silvio and uh and um uh david thank you so much for being on it was a uh, uh, it was a wonderful conversation for sure, and I, I I learned a lot about you know the Brazilian side of of the music industry and also the you know the English British side as well. So uh, thank you for being on. That's okay. Thank you, thank you for having us. Thank yep. you very much. And uh, uh, we'll uh, and we'll I'll definitely have you guys back on, uh, and we'll catch up uh, when you guys start rolling out some of these new products. So uh, again, thank you. And uh, I'm gonna just hit stop real quick on the recorder.